There's a molecule so small it slips through cell membranes, crosses the blood-brain barrier, and moves freely throughout your body. It's not a drug. It's not a supplement. It's hydrogen gas, H2. And it's starting to show up in scientific studies as something more than just inert filler. But what is it really doing? Is it helping? Or is this just another wellness trend? Today, we're digging into what the research actually says about molecular hydrogen, what it is, what it does, and why it's becoming a topic in health and science circles. This is the Hydrogen Studies Podcast, sponsored by Echo Water. H2 is just two hydrogen atoms bonded together. It's a gas. It has no charge, and because it's so small, it moves easily through our cells and tissues. But it's not the same as hydrogen ions you hear about with acids or pH. Those are charged particles. H2 is neutral, more like a messenger than a weapon. It's often dissolved in water or inhaled as a gas, and recently it's been studied more and more in the world of health. Now here's where hydrogen gets interesting. Most antioxidants like vitamin C or E work by removing all free radicals. That includes both harmful ones and the helpful ones your body uses for things like healing and signaling. Hydrogen works differently. It's what researchers call selective. It seems to only go after the most damaging radicals, things like hydroxyl radicals and peroxynitrite, which are linked to DNA damage, cell stress, and aging. And by leaving the helpful free radicals alone, it may allow your body's natural defenses to keep working, just with less of the toxic overload. This idea comes from lab studies and animal research, and it's been backed by some small human trials. But we're still learning how it plays out long-term and in different conditions. Next up, mitochondria. These are the power plants of your cells, producing ATP, your energy currency. They're also one of the main sources of reactive oxygen species. When they get overwhelmed by stress, poor sleep, intense exercise, they start to break down, and that's when fatigue, inflammation, and dysfunction creep in. What researchers are noticing is that hydrogen may help protect mitochondria. It's been shown to stabilize mitochondrial membranes, support ATP production, and reduce excess oxidative stress within the mitochondria themselves. One study from 2023 suggests that hydrogen may even support mitochondrial quality control, helping your cells identify and remove damaged mitochondria. Another fascinating angle, hydrogen seems to nudge the body's own defense systems into action. For example, it activates NRF2, a protein that turns on your body's internal antioxidant systems like glutathione and superoxide dismutase. It also boosts HO1, heme oxygenase 1, which is involved in cellular production and stress adaption. At the same time, it appears to downregulate inflammatory cytokines like TNF-alpha and IL-6 molecules that are often elevated in chronic disease states. It's almost like H2 creates a more resilient, responsive cellular environment. But again, context matters. These effects vary based on health status, dosage, and delivery method. Not everyone responds the same way. So what do we do now? What we know is this. Hydrogen is safe, well-tolerated, and biologically active in ways we're just beginning to understand. There are consumer products, bottles, tablets, inhalers, and some people report feeling better after using them. But results vary. Some studies show strong effects, others are more mixed, and dosing, timing, and delivery all seem to matter. If you're curious, hydrogen might be worth exploring with eyes wide open. If nothing else, it's an amazing example of how even the smallest molecules can do big things in biology. So, is hydrogen the next big thing in health? Maybe, maybe not. But it's definitely worth watching because if it continues to show benefits in areas like inflammation, energy, and aging, it could become one more tool in the toolkit for better health. Next episode, we'll be discussing hydrogen and its effect on aging, which is really where it shines. Until then, stay curious, stay grounded, and we'll catch you next time.